I've been gone that long that I don't remember what books I have and haven't pulled already. But, I mean, I don't have that many. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I'm dropping them all. Uh, hey guys, I know I've been gone like four or five months and I don't really have a very good reason for why I was gone except for the fact that I'm pretty much just a lazy bitch. So this is basically gonna be my MIA book haul and you can see all the books that I think I haven't hauled on my channel yet and if I have I apologize for that. First book I'm just gonna randomly select is um, Replica by Lauren Oliver. This has the stories by Lyra and Gemma. It's told from two different perspectives by two different girls. Um, one is basically she's like a clone of a human and I'm presuming the other one is the human. I've started reading Lyra's side. I'm She's the replica. All the clones have to live in this, this camp basically and they're segregated from the rest of society and they're all dying and they don't know why they're dying and they're trying to fix it and I just realized I haven't turned on my fucking fairy lights yet. Hold on a second, I gotta fix this. They don't work. I think the batteries have died. Hold on, let me find some batteries. Ow! That was my foot! Shoot! I oh crap, there goes the camera. I'm a professional, guys. Are you kidding me? I have to unscrew this fucker? No, I need a fucking screwdriver! Screwdriver! Right. Screwdriver's too big, so we're not even gonna deal with this. No fairy lights today, okay? Promise next time I'll have the fairy lights on. The next book I'm gonna do is um, The Call by Peter O'Gullen. Stuff that up, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is basically on the front, you have three minutes to save your life. So what I can remember from when I read the blurb like five months ago, you get a phone call and you have three minutes to save your life. You get a call and then you've got three minutes to save your life and it's just gonna happen, I guess. I don't know if they get transported somewhere and something happens or what, but it sounded cool, it sounded thrilling. Um, the next book I also managed to pick up was The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Yeah, so basically I think this chick um, works for the US government and then she's pretty good at what she does and then I think they decide they want to kill her because she's become a liability. In one of my hauls that I did last year at some point, I showed that I picked up The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Well, I finally did it guys. I picked up The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey and then The Last Star also by Rick Yancey. So I can finally like read this series. I have a funny feeling I may have actually already hauled these two books. If that's the case, I'm sorry. I seriously cannot remember what I have and have not hauled. The next book I got was King's Cage by Victoria Aviats. This is the third book in the Red King, not Red King, the Red Queen series. Now, um, for like the longest time, and I mean like probably two, two, two years, I thought this series was a trilogy. So I took it upon myself to go into Goodreads and when I went on Goodreads onto her page, I realized there's a fourth book in the series. I feel like an idiot because I went and looked at the back of all of the books and it occurred to me that nowhere does it say on any of them that it's the final book in the series. But yeah, I've already read King's Cage. It was amazing. I loved it. The next book, the actual next book, is Ava and the Trinity Initiation by C.J. Black. Now this uh, copy I actually received as an ARC back in January. I have read it. Um, it's actually written... I just dropped C.J.'s book. I'm sorry if you're watching this. So uh, yeah, like I said, I received an ARC of this back in January. I actually am very lucky enough to know the author C.J. Um, He's one of my bookstagram mates. He was telling me all about his book and it sounded amazing and he asked me if I would like, if I would be interested in receiving an, an, an arc of it and I was like, fuck yeah, I want an arc of it. So this is his debut novel and um, it is a fantasy. So basically it's about this girl, Ava, and basically finds out that she's a keeper of this thing called the artifact. She didn't know she was the keeper of it, but she is. And um, basically there's this really horrible family tragedy that happens and because of this tragedy she decides to go off and learn more about the artifact and what it means and goes on this crazy adventure and ride. This, this is amazing. I'm so stoked for you. Congrats man. Like, 
you're 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 awesome. <laughs> and then the next book I have is uh, Life Blood by Gina Showalter. So this is the second book in the Ever Life novel series. I really liked this one because you get to find out more about um, a human second life. If you've read the first book, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you've got no clue. So it was really interesting to see um, Ten's journey. A while ago, I picked up Zodiac by Romina Russell. Um, so basically, this is about like a galaxy like in space, and basically your star sign determines which planet you call home. And there is 12... Um, houses, I believe. I have a funny feeling that there's a 13th house. So I just hold held up three fingers to represent 13. Wow. Um, there's a 13th house and they come and they've, they've gone and they've fucked shit up and basically they're gonna come back and do stuff. Then the next book I picked up was A Wandering Star, which is the sequel to uh, Zodiac. I know there's another two books in the series and then I think it's done. I haven't picked them up yet. Yeah, this I'm presuming just continues on. I'm not going to read what happens because I haven't read the first one. But yeah, I'm really excited to get into like the Zodiac aspect of this. I love star signs. And then I also got an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of D Downworld by Cassandra Clare and illustrated by Cassandra Jean. So this is this, this is just like a companion, really. Okay, we'll just go with Jace, because Jace is here. So basically, yeah, you get a picture of um, the character, and then you get, like, when they were born, what species they are, their favourite weapon, their family, and then a little bit of information about them. And the, the draw illustrations are just uh, gorgeous. I actually read this last night and it was just amazing. I loved it. Then another book I picked up was Collide by Melissa West. This is the third and final book in the Taking Trilogy by her. An alien species come to Earth and they kind of have this very bad alliance with the humans because they can't, the aliens can't survive on Earth. They have to take antibodies from the humans and yeah, it's basically about how the aliens are actually already on Earth and humans kind of know and they, they want to come to Earth, but the humans aren't letting them. Then I also picked up Beautiful Redemption by Jamie Maguire. This one is the second book. The first one was Beautiful Oblivion, and then I think there's another three or four in the series. Maddox, the Maddox family. It's battle that this is like focuses on the next brother. I'm excited to read it. I probably should reread Beautiful Oblivion so I know what the hell's going on. The next book I also have is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, this is, I believe, her latest book she's brought out. I didn't pick this one up purely because it's taller than all the other books. Yeah. Yeah. I waited I don't know how many months to pick this book up purely because it was taller. But I just, I caved. I wanted it so I caved and I picked it up. I don't really know who it's about but obviously it's going to be a contemporary love story and I'm, it's going to be amazing I'm presuming because it's Colleen Hoover and I love all her books. The final book I picked up was Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Basically, she really loves this like book series or something, and they've just they're turning it into either a movie or a TV show, and they've just cast the male lead. And like all of us, when they cast characters for our favorite shows, and we're, we nine times out of ten we're not happy with the casting choice. She's not happy with the casting choice for the male lead. Him, she meets this other guy online, doesn't know that the guy she's talking to and falling falling for is actually the actor who got the male lead in that movie or TV show, whom she doesn't like. I'm excited to pick it up and give it a read, like, I need more contemporary novels in my life. Okay, so that, they are all the books I, um, have hauled in the past, like, five or so months. I've done this so dodgy, I want you to know there is no base supporting this at all, this is not gonna work. So this is what I've got so far, can we just leave it here, like, I don't wanna put the really, oh shoot, I left all the big books for the top. This is no logic, Nicole. <laughs> Wait, my triple chin's coming out. Okay, they're just falling off, this is ridiculous. I'm on my tippy toes right now, guys, you can't see them. Yes, now you can, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go before I drop them. Um, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it won't be like, fight. shoot! Well, it could have been worse, I only dropped four. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys next time, bye.